Today I plan to talk about the curve of statical stability which is a very important curve in the topic of ship stability and this curve is uh, often used by chief officers to assess the stability of the ship before sailing off from a port and also to see whether the ship fulfills the essential criteria of stability. Uh, this curve can now of course be obtained automatically through the Lodicator once you put in the values you can get a computer generated graph but when I was a cadet often I used to see my chief officers uh, draw this curve sometimes manually even when I was going to get my promotion as a chief officer I was actually asked to draw this curve manually so you should understand how to draw this curve manually today and we'll talk about the theory of the curve and what information you can obtain from it and then uh, later on in another separate video I'll be discussing a numerical example of a question where you will learn how to obtain the values which help you to draw this curve all right so let's start with this curve this curve is called the curve of statical stability and uh, the first thing that you should notice in this curve that uh, in this curve the GZ or the writing lever is plotted against the various angles of heel so on one axis you have the values of GZ or the writing lever and on the other axis you have the various angles of heel say at about 20 10 20 30 40 starting from 0 degrees right uh, the next thing you can notice here and uh, is that uh, the angle of heel at which the maximum GZ occurs and this is uh, this angle here as you can see angle of heel at uh, maximum GZ occurs uh, looking at this graph you can see it's happening at say about here about 48 or degrees is the angle at heel uh, at which the maximum GZ occurs and the next thing you can see the maximum value of GZ all right which in this case would be about 0 0.5 or 0 0.51 is the maximum value of GZ or the writing lever that you can obtain uh, then you have the range of positive stability as you can see here I have mentioned the range of positive stability uh, yeah, this is from uh, the curve from 0 degrees to the angle of vanishing stability where the GZ again becomes a 0 alright so starting from 0 to the point that the GZ again becomes 0 is the and the area under that curve is the range of positive stability uh, in cases where the ship is initially unstable it will not be from 0 degrees but uh, from some other value I'll show that to you in the next graph as well all right uh, then I mentioned the angle of vanishing stability of course the angle of vanishing stability here is the angle at which the GZ again becomes 0 so it starts from 0 and then again becomes 0 that is the angle of vanishing stability also determines the range of positive stability that the ship has all right then of course you have the initial GM or initial metacentric height so GM is metacentric height and how you obtain is it is normally you draw a tangent to the curve that you see the red line here is a tangent to the curve at the origin itself at the zero point and then you erect a perpendicular from 57.3 degrees this is a figure allotted to determine the initial GM and wherever it meets a tangent is actually the point of intersection then becomes the determination of initial GM now actually what happens is in actual practice uh, you do it in reverse so actually you first cut off the initial GM which is actually the GM fluid after you apply the free surface correction and you cut it off at the perpendicular that you draw at 57.3 degrees and then you draw the tangent backwards and that's how you do it in practice all right uh, what are the other things you can see oh yes uh, I can see the angle at which the deck edge immerses now this is uh, something that you guys should notice because uh, this is the angle of heel at which you can see that the point of contraflexion of the curve occurs. What is contraflexion of the curve? That basically shows you that if this curve kept going here it would have gone something like this here and if this curve coming down would have come it would come down like this alright. So this is the point at which the point the, the gradient of the curve changes alright. So this is uh, the point of contraflexion and that is why this is the angle at which the deck edge will also immerse in a particular angle of heel so you can see here the value is about say about 11 degrees so 10.5 to 11 degrees uh, again to scale I don't know to scale this is just a random figure I've drawn but according to the graph you can see this is it happening at about 11 degrees all right 
then uh, the moment of statical stability at any given angle of heel can be calculated as well so the gz for the given angle of heel is obtained from the curves i'll show that to you later on in a separate video and then multiplied by the displacement of the shape so uh, what you say is the dynamical stability at a uh, theta degrees angle of heel so at any angle of heel is the displacement denoted by w multiplied with the area under the curve uh, up to the desired angle of field which is theta degrees all right now of course uh, how do you calculate the area under the curve is something we have covered before so we use simpson's rule you depending on the the number of coordinates that you get under the curve you can use simpson's rule one two or three and find out the area under the curve and then multiply it by the displacement of the ship to get the dynamical stability of the ship all right the next curve or the curve number two indicates uh, the the curve of statical stability when the initial gm is negative this is something that i mentioned before when i was talking about the previous curve that the curve doesn't always start from zero sometimes it starts from a different value as you can see here if the initial gm of the ship is negative which should not be the case but sometimes of course the ships uh, sail uh, or initial gm of the ship might become negative uh, which is not advisable for any chief officer but due to certain condition it might become initially negative so you can see the ship at that time is called unstable ship all right so you can see that the range of positive stability then in that case has started from this angle here say about uh, 16 odd degrees if i can see and till about the time it becomes the gz becomes zero again uh, which is about 70 degrees here so range of positive stability has now not started from zero degrees as we saw before it's not from zero rather but from somewhere around 16 to 70 degrees all right now here in this case also when the gm is negative sometimes the ship also uh, achieves a status of angle of lull so since the angle of lull could be either to port or to starboard and uh, the curves would be the same regardless of the direction of the inclination of the ship so if the ship was the achieved angle of lull to port gz may be considered positive when it resists further inclination to port and vice versa so here we cannot determine at which side is the angle of lull but this is just to show you guys as to what happens if the ship has a negative gm which is uh, unadvisable but uh, what happens then and how does the gz curve is then drawn out all right then we talk about the third scenario here is when the curve of the ship when the ship is listed all right so you know when listing occurs listing occurs due to the shift of the weights due to the shift in the center of the gravity and healing occurs due to natural phenomena like waves or winds um, or mooring ropes becoming too tight ships sometimes may heel over to one side in that case this is how the uh, gz curves look like again in the uh, vertical axis you see is the gz of course this this axis here is the gz the top is the positive values and the bottom is the gz again in negative values all right uh, these are all again angle of heel angles of heel right so again the gz curve or the curve of statical stability is plotted against gz uh, gz against angles of heel so in both sides it's angles of heel as you can see here all right and uh, when a ship with a positive initial gm has a list uh, that means its center of gravity is of the center line due to the asymmetrical distribution of weights all right so the vessel is at rest at the angle of list and the gz curve will therefore not be exactly the same for starboard uh, as it is for port because uh, initially the ship was stable and then suddenly it developed at least to one side so the gz curve on one side would be different from that of the other as you see here as well all right uh, the gz of, of a ship in stable equilibrium acts uh, towards port when heel to starboard to bring the ship back and vice versa so if the ship is listing to port it will act towards starboard if the ship is listing to starboard the gz will act towards port the whole idea behind gz or the writing lever is to bring the ship back to the upright condition or to the stable equilibrium condition all right so you see in this uh, diagram here because the heel to port and the starboard is shown on the same graph a gz is plotted as positive when acting in one direction uh say towards port when the ship is heel to starboard and negative when acting towards starboard 
and when the ship is listed to port you can see that's how the gz curve is drawn all right so the gz curve goes towards the negative when heel to port and positive towards heel to starboard all right and that's why the gz is not symmetrical on the port on the starboard side so this is pretty much how the gz curve is uh, drawn and this is the theory behind it basically you have to remember that uh, the area under the curve determines the range of stability uh, you can get the dynamical stability from multiplying the area under the curve with the displacement and uh, the bigger the area under the curve the better it is for the ship uh, and the higher the range of positive stability the better it is the ship should not start off or sail off at negative gm uh, however there are certain situations in the ship just develop negative gm but the whole idea for you should be then to make the gm positive uh, and to keep the ship upright at all times as a chief officer all right so let me know if i missed something here uh, the idea was to introduce a theory first and then in my next video i will show you guys how to solve a numerical or how to draw the gz curves from scratch using values that you obtain from the uh, hydrostatic tables all right so i'll see you guys in my next video all the best and good luck with your studies bye